Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today, I am going to explain about anther and pollen culture. Now, first is what is an anther? Anther is a part of stamen containing pollen grains. Coming to the history of uh, anther or pollen grains, Tulik in 1953 first obtained the mature pollen grains of Ginkgo biloba, which is a gymnosperm can be induced to proliferate in culture to form haploid callus. Goha and Maheshwari in 1964 first reported the direct development of embryos from microspores of Datura in Oxia by the culture of excised anther. Borgen and Nist in 1967 obtained complete haploid plantlet from anther culture of Nicotiana tobacum. Now what is a anther culture? Culturing of anthers obtained from unopened flower bird in the nutrient medium under aseptic condition. Callous tissue or embryoid from anther that give rise to a haploid plantlet either through organogenesis or embryogenesis. Now what is a pollen culture? Pollen or microspore culture is an in vitro technique by which pollen grains preferably at the uninucleated stage are squeezed out aseptically from the intact anther and then cultured on nutrient medium. The microspore developed into a haploid embryo, uh, haploid embryoid or callus tissue that give rise to haploid plantlet by embryogenesis or organogenesis. Androgenesis. Androgenesis is the in vitro development of haploid plant originated from 2T potent pollen grain through a series of cell division and differentiation. It is of two type direct and uh, direct androgenesis that is the microspore behave like a zygote and undergo change to form an embryoid which ultimately give rise to a plantlet. Another one is uh, the second one is indirect androgenesis. Here the microspore divide repeatedly to form a callus tissue which differentiate into haploid plantlets. Principle of anther and pollen culture. The production of haploid plant plants is to exploit and to potency of microspores. In this process the normal development and function of the pollen cell to become a male gamete is stopped and is diverted forcefully to a new metabolic pathway for vegetative cell division. Methods of anther culture. Collection of unopened flower bud. Surface sterilized with 70% ethanol. Anther is excised from flower bud and kept separately. Anther is first mitotic in anther in first mitotic division is selected by acetocormine test inoculated in the medium containing glutamine, L-serine, inositol. Incubate the culture at 25 degree centigrade for 15 days. Here anther grows into embryoid. Embryoid transfer to rooting um, uh, medium under 3000 lux illumination. After 3 to 5 weeks, the embryoids become plantlets for acclimatization transfer into the greenhouse. In this picture, how anther culture will be done will be explained. First, we will select the plant of our interest and then from that flower bird, unopened flower bird will be taken. Later on, it will be surface sterilized with 70% ethanol and sodium hypochlorite solution. This bird was next sterilized with the distilled water then split flower bud and take cut the, on the stamens. Later on, anther in first mitotic division is selected by acetocormine test. Uh, later, the anther, like discard the filament and uh, just uh, take the anthers. Now, the anther in the first mitotic division is selected by acetocormine test. Then it will be inoculated into a medium containing glutamine and L-serine and uh, inositol which contain glutamine, L-serine and inositol. Then uh, we have to inoc incubate this culture at uh, 24 to 26 degree centigrade in dark for 3 to 4 weeks. Later on 
when either this anther will be converted into director will undergo a direct androgenesis pathway to form a plantlet or it could undergo callus formation later on organogenesis and then it will form a plantlet which is a haploid regenerated plantlet will be formed methods of pollen culture and they are collected from flower birds and pollen grains are isolated and about 50 anthers are placed in a small sterile beaker containing 20 ml of liquid basal medium it could be either ms or white or nist medium anther is then pressed against the side of the beaker with a sterile glass rod to squeeze out the pollens the homogenized anther are then filtered through nylon sleeve to remove the anther tissue debris filter or uh, pollen suspension is then centrifuged at a low speed for 5 minutes the supernatant containing fine debris is discarded and a pellet of pollen is suspended in fresh liquid medium and washed uh twice by repeated centrifugation and resuspension in the fresh liquid medium a uh, 2.5 ml of pollen suspension usually 10 to the power of 3 to 10 to the power of 4 per ml is pipetted off and is spread in 5 cm petri dish pollen are best grown in liquid medium but if necessary they can be grown by plating very soft agar added medium petri dish are incubated at 20 to 30 degree centigrade under low intensity of white cool light young embryoid can be observed after 30 days the embryoids ultimately give rise to a haploid plantlet influence of anther culture or pollen culture genotype of donor plant genotype of donor plant play a significant role in determining the frequency of pollen production for example hordm of each genotype differ with respect to androgenic response in anther culture stages of microspores anthers are more productive when cultured in uninucleated microspore stage for example barley wheat rice etc culture medium anther pollen culture medium requirement vary with the genotype and age of the anther as well as condition under which donor plant are grown incorporation of activated charcoal into the medium has stimulated the induction of androgenesis iron in the medium play a very important role for the induction of haploids potato extract coconut milk growth regulators like auxin cytokinins are used for anther and pollen culture temperature temperature enhances the induction frequency of microspore androgenesis the low temperature treatment to anther or flower bud enhances the haploid formation low temperature affect the number of factors such as dissolution of microtubules lowering the abscisic acid maintenance of high ratio of viable protein capable of embryogenesis physiological status of donor plant such as water stress nitro uh, water stress nitrogen requirement and age of donor plant highly affect the pollen embryogenesis plants starved of nitrogen may give more responsive anther compared to those that are well fed with nitrogenous fertilizer advantage of anther culture simple time uh, less time consuming and responsive disadvantages require skill to remove anthers without causing damage not much successful in case of cereal crops risk of chimeras and callus formation from anther walls application of anther and pollen culture it is used for mutation study plant breeding and crop improvement and it is used for secondary metabolite i mean uh, to obtain a secondary metabolites even haploids are used in molecular biology and genetic engineering haploid uh, tissue of arabidopsis and lycopersicum have been used for the transfer and expression of three genes from escherichia coli
Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button. Subscription doesn't cost you any money. To get a notification, click on a bell icon. Do like and share this video with friends and family. If you have any kind of feedback, do share it on a comment box. Thank you.